Welcome to Insider Medicine In-Depth. I'm Dr. Susan Sharma. Evidence is mounting that the use of the pain and fever reliever acetaminophen, which is known under several trade names that include Tylenol and Paracetamol, may increase the risk of developing allergy and asthma symptoms. Two such studies are published online in the American Journal of Respiratory and Critical Care Medicine. If you have asthma, here are some tips to help you control your symptoms. Be sure you are well educated about asthma, including its triggers and treatments. Always take your asthma medications as directed even if you are feeling fine. Know your triggers and how to avoid them. Researchers from the Medical Research Institute of New Zealand, representing the International Study of Asthma and Allergies in Childhood, or ISAAC, administered two written questionnaires and one video questionnaire to over 300,000 children aged 13 and 14 from 113 centres across 50 countries. The questionnaires were about their use of acetaminophen as well as their asthma and allergy symptoms. A significant relationship between use of acetaminophen and asthma and allergy symptoms was uncovered. Among high users of acetaminophen, which was defined as those who use the drug at least once in the previous month, the risk for asthma was more than two and a half times greater than for non-users. Similarly, medium users, or those who reported using acetaminophen at least once in the previous year, had a 43% increased risk for asthma. Also, compared with non-users, high users of the drug had a 2.39 times increased risk and medium users a 38% increased risk for hay fever. In addition, high users were about twice as likely and medium users 31% more likely to have eczema as non-users. It is impossible to tell from the study whether the relationship between acetaminophen use and asthma or allergy symptoms is causal. Research out of Ethiopia, however, suggests that it is. This study demonstrated that in general the use of acetaminophen preceded the development of allergy and asthma symptoms. For Insider Medicine In-Depth, I'm Dr. Susan Sharma.